Assalamu alaikum habibati and welcome to another Arab Man Reacts coming at you with another Natalia Jimenez reaction this is Amor Eterno I've listened to Juan Gabriel do this I've listened to Rocio Durcal do this I think or maybe just those two I can't remember but it is a brilliant composition of a song. Of course it is. We all know who composed it. And I also can't wait to listen to Natalia do this. Natalia is an artist that I just instantly fell in love with. There's a lot of things to like about her. But to love her as instantly as I have is something so intangible that I don't have the vocabulary to express it. It's just a massive infatuation. And so... Anytime I see an Italian request on the list over on Patreon, I just immediately jump into it. I love her so much. So here's Natalia with Amor Eterno. Again, I can go on for days, and I've said this in previous videos, about the incredible production behind these things. The, just this, the settings that they create are magical. These aren't just songs and performances. These are musicals. They're, 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 they're stage performances. They are incredible pieces of art. Everything about this is artistic. The music, the, the, the sounds, the, the performers themselves, everything around you, the stage set up, absolutely the environment they create. This is all beautiful, beautiful, exquisite art. Que lloran en silencio por tu amor. Me miro en el espejo y veo en mi rostro. Are those diamond studded in ear monitors? That's what it looks like. Wow! Me miro en el espejo y veo en mi rostro. El tiempo que he sufrido por tu adiós. يا الله شو حلو يا الله شو حلو There's a quality in her voice in this song that's very reminiscent of uh, Diana Navarro that the strength in the character that that she's providing that she's pulling off is just so beautifully strong Oh. 
como quisiera Unfathomably excellent, incredible, phenomenal. I have literally nothing to say. I have nothing to say. It's something to be proud of. Like honestly, guys, this culture, this 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 commitment to 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 just showing the vibrancy of the culture. It's it's something to be so proud of. So proud of. The amount of respect in these performances, man, is just unbelievable. Like in that performance from the stage hands to the people doing the lighting to the people filming to the people turning on and off like the smoke machines like everyone involved in this is so proud of what they're doing. They're all equals. Everyone on that stage is an equal. Everyone behind the stage is an equal. And her voice in this it's like it's so strong like it could literally be a Pavarotti you know, trying to pull off this, this performance and it would give you that level of strength and power in the delivery of the vocals. It's so grand. It's, 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 you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's worldly. It's, it's fantastic. Like in our culture, I failed to see where we've held on to these traditions and the respect to these traditions and and to respect those traditions in performances we don't do that anymore like i don't know where it's happening i don't know like i can't remember the last time we had like something this incredible like back in the day yes but when those performers when those you know elites in the scene when they passed on no one picked up their mantle no one continued no one keeps reminding the, the newer generations of the legacy, of the gorgeousness of the music of the past. No one does it anymore. It's like people just want to, you know, write the most sellable pop song that there is and just spare it out there. Out of all the concerts that happen in my part of the world, I'm talking about Arabic music, yeah? Like, uh, call it whatever you want to call it, oriental Arabic music, whether it's sung in... Lebanese or, or Levantine in, 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 in Syrian and in Jordanian and Palestinian, like the, the dialects, or if you want to go towards the Gulf to get that, like I, I can't remember the last time I saw an ad or a poster for a concert where these songs were coming back. Like I know they happen, they must happen, but they're not as grand as this. Like this is something that is is huge, you know what I mean? Like, yes, if you go to a bar on a Wednesday night where there's a band playing Arabic music, yes, you'll hear all the classics, you will. But I'm talking about a small, tight band. It's usually a keyboardist with maybe someone playing percussion, you know, maybe two other instruments, a bass, and then a singer. And they're, they're going to play for two and a half hours. They're going to play all the classics. But it's not like this. And I don't know why not. Like, I would bet all the money in the world that 
if we built a stage and we built a production like this and we brought in a couple of incredible modern day singers, Arabic singers, and they were tasked with bringing to the new generation these, these classics that, that we have, it would be amazing. But the fact that it's not there just shows you, and I think this is a unique thing here, like for, for Mexico, it's a unique thing where there's so much pride in what was and so much pride in what is. And, and it just, it's, it's teachable generation to generation. There's so much love. There's so much dedication. It's incredible. Bravo, Anjad. Anjad, I don't know what else to say, but an incredible love for culture, an almost need for that culture to continue and the utmost respect to it and the people that go through with it and perform it. That's it for me. I'll catch you all in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Salamat. Thank <laughs> you.